Hello and welcome to the Kentucky Annual Dairy Awards for the 2021 KDDC Dairy Production and Milk Quality Awards. It is with great pleasure that the Kentucky Dairy Development Council once again takes the opportunity to give recognition to some of the top dairymen across the Commonwealth. Daring is a challenge each day. As a dairy producer, one embraces those challenges, continues during the hard times, relish the good times, and continually takes pride in knowing that they are producing one of the most nutritious natural products available, milk. By putting quality and production at the forefront, all the while being good stewards and caring for their animals and land. It is at this time that we would like to announce the 2021 KDDC District Awards. The KDDC District Awards recognize the top herbs for 3.5% fat corrected rolling herd average milk in each of the 12 districts. The top three producers in each district will be recognized beginning with the third place winner, followed by the second place winner, and then with the winning producer of the district. For the 2021 KDDC District Awards, we will begin with District 1. Starting with third place, we would like to congratulate James Lead of Christian County. James Lead moved to a 70-acre farm north of Fairview, Kentucky in 2015. On arrival, James and Louise built their dairy facilities they currently milk in with their three children. James's Holsteins are milked in a 52-stall, tie-stall barn built with cow comfort in mind. Natural ventilation is used most of the year, but when the temperatures rise, an evaporating cooling system is used to keep the cows comfortable. Cows are fed a corn silage-based TMR, and heifers and cows are bred AI. The farm's milk is marketed through NFO. A second silo was constructed, which paid off for James, and last summer, the herd averaged 4.2% butter fat. In second place, we would like to congratulate Troyer Dairy of Caldwell County. Troyer Dairy is located north of Princeton, Kentucky. Brothers Titus and Tim Troyer moved their families and dairy here 12 years ago from Winchester, Tennessee to its current location. Titus and his wife Catherine have five children, and Tim and his wife Ann have six children. The 160 Holstein cows are housed in a 140 stall sand bedded freestall barn and milked in a double tin parlor. All cows and replacement heifers are bred AI. Milk cows are fed a TMR, and milk is marketed to the DFA direct. Troyers have 450 acres, of which 225 acres are used for growing forage for the dairy with corn and beans being grown on the remaining 225 acres. Orchard grass, timothy, and small grains are grown for forage along with corn for silage. And for first place, Levi E. Stoltzfus of Caldwell County. Levi and wife Rebecca, along with their six children, dairy about two miles south of Princeton, Kentucky. Levi moved here four years ago from Pennsylvania and built a single-story, 50-stall, tie-stall barn. Attached to the tie-stall barn is a progressive pen heifer barn. The Stoltzfus milk 50 Holsteins and raise all their replacements. Levi raises alfalfa, small grain for forage, and corn for corn silage. A second enterprise of tobacco also supplements the farm's income. And now it's time for District 2. In third place, let's congratulate Sumner Dairy LLC of Warren County. Sumner Dairy was established in 1979 and is operated by Alan and Patty Sumner and Thomas and Molly Sumner. Thomas returned to the farm in 2018 after graduating from the University of Kentucky with an emphasis in dairy science. The milking herd consists of 200 Holsteins that are housed in sand-bedded free stalls. Feed consists of BMR corn silage and rye haylage. Replacements are raised on the farm and are currently being genomic tested. The RHA is 29,785 pound milk with 1,079 pound fat and 866 pound protein. Our second place winner is H&S Dairy of Butler County. H&S Dairy is in South Butler County, near the Logan County line. The dairy was started in 1981 by Ben Hunt and Jeff Schwartz. Since then, Ben's son Michael joined the dairy. H&S milks 230 mostly registered Holsteins in a double seven Parabarn parlor. The milk cows are housed in a freestall barn and a compost bedded pack barn. 
Dry cows are housed in a second compost bedded packed barn. All animals are bred AI. DFA direct markets the farm's milk. Calves are housed in a group and fed with two automatic feeders until weaned. H&S farms 900 acres. 400 is pasture and hay. 200 acres of small grain is chopped. 200 acres of corn is chopped for silage and the rest is shelled. And for our overall winner in first place for District 2 is Roby Farms of Logan County. Roby Farms is located near Adairville in South Logan County. They are currently milking 2,500 registered Holsteins in multiple freestall barns. Cows are milked in a double 25 parallel parlor three times a day. The last calf barn was built in 2018, which brought total calf capacity to 700 stalls. All bull calves are kept, with some being sold for dairy beef. Each year, the farm sells 80 breeding bulls. The freestall barns have flush systems taking liquid manure slurry through a sand separation lane before running into a waste pond. Sand recovery is above 90%. Roby's farm 18,000 acres of corn for grain and silage, soybeans, wheat, alfalfa, sorghum, and tobacco. For District 3, our third place winner is Forever Farms of Hart County. Forever Farms is owned and operated by David and Bonnie Sammons and herdman Ryan Hudson. The Sammons moved to Kentucky from Pennsylvania and began milking in 1990. The herd consists of 145 Holsteins and red and whites. The cows are milked twice a day with RHA of 23,912 pounds of milk. In second place is Kinslow Dairy of Barron County. Kinslow Dairy in Barron County was started in 1996 by Don and Gail Kinslow with 100 Holsteins. The dairy has expanded to 940 Holsteins, 30 Brown Swiss, 5 Jerseys, and 5 Milking Shorthorns. Don, Gail, Jeremy, Kelsey and McCoy Kinslow, and Adam, Lindsay, and Gracie Logston, along with 17 employees, now operate the 980 cow herd. All replacement heifers are raised on the farm. The herd is 100% AI bred using all select sires mating. The Kinslows raise corn and wheat silage along with hay and straw. And for our first place winner, Keith Long of Barron County. Keith Long grew up on a family farm as the fifth generation dairy farmer. He milked in partnership with his dad until 1973. Keith started his herd with 30 head and has gradually expanded. In 2015, a new parlor was added and the herd increased to 350. There are currently 700 milking cows and 700 replacement heifers. The RHA is 31,530 pounds of milk 1,134 pounds fat, and 916 pounds protein. Keith and Connie, along with their son Brian, manage the farm with five full-time employees. Connie raises all the calves. They crop 2,000 acres of corn, wheat, soybeans, and rye. Keith and Connie also have a daughter, Jamie. Now for District 4. Our third place winner is Jim Sidebottom of Greene County. After getting married in 1968, while both had six plus generations of farmers behind them, full-time farming didn't happen at first. In 1981, an opportunity came along to fulfill Jim's dream of being a full-time farmer. They purchased 203 acres of farmland, some farm equipment, and a new way of life. Milking cows was not Jim's original farming plan, but the drought of 1983 made milking seem the only way to hang on to the dream. After outgrowing three remodels of their original milk parlor, in 2008, they took a bold move to build a new milking facility. As more land became available, they have increased their farm to 600 acres and their milking herd to 250 ladies and 200 replacement heifers. They have worked closely with University of Kentucky, hosting field days, test trial plots, and research studies. One of the research studies led to the use of activity monitors, or Fitbits, for their cows. As time passed, their son Stacy became a partner in the farming operation and is in charge of the daily operations of the farm. Our second place winner is Moss Dairy of Greene County. Keith Moss Dairy Farm is located in Greene County, owned and operated by Keith Moss and family. 
Keith's rolling herd average is 24,485 pounds with 936 pounds of fat and 764 pounds of protein. Keith milks around 110 cows two times a day with cows housed in a compost bedded pack barn. Keith sells his milk to Prairie Farm in Somerset, Kentucky. And our first place winner is Chris Derry of Metcalf County. Chris Derry is in Edmonton, Kentucky and is owned by Bill and Juliet Chris. The current milking herd consists of 640 Holsteins. The cows are milked three times a day with an RHA of 26,517 pounds of milk. Replacement heifers are custom raised. The Chris raised 700 acres of corn silage. Bill and his wife Julie are the parents of three daughters, Karen, Jordan, and Madison. Chris Derry employs 11 full-time employees, including Bill and Julie's son-in-law, Isaac Reynolds. Now for District 5 winners. In third place, we have Corbin Derry of Taylor County. Corbin Derry is located in Taylor County. David Corbin has milked cows for almost 30 years. David milks around 275 cows two times a day. Cows are housed in a freeze stall and compost bedded packed barn. Cows are registered in grade Holsteins with a rolling herd average of 28,503 pounds. In second place is James A. Cowherd and Son Dairy of Taylor County. Cowherd Dairy is a fifth generation dairy farm located in Campbellsville. Tony and his son Caden are carrying on the family tradition of milking cows. They are committed to producing fantastic forages each year. Their love for family and farming runs deep. Their rolling herd average is 28,548 pounds. They milk three times a day with cows housed in a free stall and compost bedded packed barns. And in first place for District 5 is H&H &H Dairy of Adair County. David Hutchinson and his dad Billy began the dairy in 1988. David's nephew, Matt Sabo, has been an integral part of the dairy since 2009. The 140 cows are housed in waterbed free stalls in a total confinement operation. They are milked three times a day with an RHA of 30,608 pounds of milk. The farm currently raises all the needed corn silage and hay. David raises all their replacements. Now for District 6. In third place is Ridgetop Dairy of Monroe County. Ridgetop Dairy was started by the parents of Mark Williams in 1955 milking cattle by hand. The milk was sold to Cudahy Foods, which Mark's father also worked for as a field representative. In 1975, Mark and his brother Billy Joe, fresh out of military and fresh out of high school, built their first grade A parlor. Billy Joe and Mark partnered with their parents until the early 1990s, at which time Billy Joe left the farm to own and operate Bluegrass Dairy and Foods. In 2010, the dairy was moved to a different farm, where they currently live. Mark and his son Joshua are now partners in this dairy operation. They milk around 250 cows. They also grow about 300 acres of corn for silage, and most of the corn is double cropped with small grains as bellage, which is used to feed heifers and dry cows. The cows are milked in a double 10 parallel parlor and are housed in bedded packed barns. All grain mix is purchased. In second place for District 6 is TNK Dairy of Monroe County. TNK Dairy got its startup in 1980 when Kenny McPherson decided he wanted to get into the dairy business. His father Terrell McPherson raised tobacco, beef cattle, and grain on his 230 acre farm that he and his family lived on. When Kenny was 16, he started milking with the help of his father and mother. TNK Dairy began with around 20 cows on the milk line. Now the dairy operation milks around 900 cows, selling its milk to Borden's out of London, Kentucky. The dairy raises around 900 acres of corn silage each year. The McPherson's family farm now includes Kenny's children and their families who all work on the farm. And in first place for District 6 is Little Moo Dairy, Mervyn Weber of Pulaski County. The dairy was established in 2000 by Daniel Showwater and managed by Philemon Martin. In 2009, Mervyn began managing the dairy. He has recently purchased the dairy from Daniel. He has continually made improvements in order to be able to increase production per cow. His most important strategy has been in the area of better genetics in the next generation. 
He has improved the heifer raising facilities. The baby calves are placed on an automatic feeding system and feed intake is monitored. The heifers are moved to a small group after weaning. Then they are moved to a free stall heifer raising barn and placed on special heifer ration. Mervyn feels that this is where the most improvement can be made. The milking cows are housed in a free stall barn and fed a total mix ration. They are milked two times a day in a double eight parallel parlor. He is currently milking 88 cows. He grows all of the silage and hay for the cows. Mervyn believes that genetics are the most important thing to get production. He believes you can have the best feed, cow comfort, parlor, and without genetics, you will not get production. For District 7, third place goes to Hilltop Holsteins LLC in Lincoln County. Nathan Horst purchased the farm that the dairy sits on from Eddie Reynolds in 2004 and moved the cows in 2005. He grows all the forage for the animals on owned and leased land. He is currently milking 180 cows in a double 12 pair of bone parlor. The cows are milked three times per day. They are fed a total mix ration. The cows are housed in free stall barn that he converted from a pack barn. He has used AI breeding for many years. He says that this is the best management tool to increase production and develop sound cows. He has installed a sand separator in order to capture and reuse the sand from the free stalls. He is reclaiming between 75 and 80% of the sand. This is a huge savings on sand that is not needed to be purchased. He is saving two semi-trailer loads of sand per week. This over time is a huge saving. He is also able to afford to keep the free stalls bedded properly, which has lowered the somatic cell count. They now average 100,000 somatic cell count. This low cell count also contributes to more milk per cow. He grows all replacement heifers. The baby calves are kept in hutches until weaned, then moved to a heifer raising barn where they are gradually placed on a total mix ration. Nathan and his family also grow soybeans and do some custom harvesting for neighbors. In second place is Daryl L. Horst of Lincoln County. Daryl purchased the farm the dairy sits on in 1998. He started from green grass and built the existing milk parlor and all the other existing buildings. The parlor is a double six herring bone. He brought 60 milking cows with him and some young stock. He is now milking 140 cows three times a day. The cows are all AI bred with attention on good udders, feet, and legs. He raises all their replacements and hutches and a heifer barn. He believes genetics are the biggest influence in milk production. The cows are fed total mix ration. All forages are raised on owned and leased land. He also grows soybeans in a crop rotation. He and Scenic View share in equipment and labor, which helps in assuring good quality feed is grown and harvested at the proper time. And in first place for District 7 is Scenic View Dairy, Kenneth and Matthew Horst of Lincoln County. Kenneth and Matthew started from green grass and built the state-of-the-art Scenic View Dairy in 2014. They began with 110 cows that came from their father's dairy. The cows were from bloodlines of cows Daryl had purchased a few years earlier. They keep 200 plus on the milk line. The parlor is a double 12 parallel with rapid exit. They have mattress free stalls with sawdust. They have a water flush system to clean the alleyways in the free stalls. The water goes to a catch pond where the solids settle and the water flows to a second pond and reused to flush the alleyways. The cows are milked three times a day. They raise all of their replacement heifers and at times sell some to other dairymen. They also raise some bulls for sale to the public. They do AI, breed some cows to beef bulls. The cows are fed a total mix ration. Now for our District 8 winners. In third place is Misty Lake Dairy of Fleming County. Misty Lake Dairy, located in Fleming County, is owned and operated by Wayne Martin and family. Wayne and his family came to Kentucky from Virginia. They feed a TMR ration and raise all of their own feed. The Martins milk on average 200 cows and are milking three times in a double tin parlor. They utilize freestyle housing for their cows. Misty Lake Dairy has a rolling herd average of 23,834 pounds. In second place is Sunrise Dairy of Fleming County. Philip Horst is owner of Sunrise Dairy. He has a rolling herd average of 24,837 pounds of milk and 885 pounds of fat. 
He grows all of the replacement heifers for the dairy. The cows are milked in a parallel parlor and fed a TMR. Philip grows all of the feed for the dairy and the cows are housed in a free stall. And in first place, our winner is Stateland Dairy, Eastern Kentucky University of Madison County. Stateland Dairy was founded in 1912 to supplement an agricultural curriculum that was begun in 1906 and provide milk for students. It has been in continuous operation ever since. The facility has been relocated four times and has occupied its current location at Meadowbrook Farm since January of 1996. The state-of-the-art facility houses approximately 97 total animals consisting of day-old heifers to mature cows. Approximately 50 head are of lactating age at any one time. All animals are registered Holstein and registered Brown Swiss. Many of the Holsteins can be traced back to five cows purchased in the 1920s. In 2010, the university received a donation of Brown Swiss embryos. That donation has turned into nearly 50 head of Brown Swiss and has gotten the herd to a 50-50 mix. The herd has been continuously registered in an improvement association since 1930. Stateland Dairy has an RHA of 26,855 pounds with 990 pounds of fat. In 2018, the dairy transitioned from a herringbone parlor to a Lely robot until being the first university farm in the Commonwealth to acquire a robotic milking system. The herd is intensively grazed as much as possible and fed a TMR in a freestall barn. The breeding is done by artificial insemination. The cows are fed a silage-based ration of corn silage, cotton seed, alfalfa hay, and a concentrate mixture to balance a complete diet. The herd is used extensively for student teaching and hands-on learning for students. For our District 9, our third place winner is Melvin L. Stolfoots of Christian County. Melvin and Lizzie Stolfoots and 10 children dairy on Mount Vernon Church Road just south of Hopkinsville. The 54 milk cows are housed in a tie stall barn with high volume, low speed fans to enhance cow comfort. Melvin began milking on a rented neighboring dairy, then in 2004 moved the milk herd to the current location. The herd is bull bred and milk is sold to DFA Direct. Corn for silage, alfalfa, and 11 acres of tobacco are raised on the farm's 100 acres. Our second place winner is Walnut Ridge Dairy, Ephraim Stofoots of Christian County. Walnut Ridge Dairy is located south of Hopkinsville on Mount Vernon Church Road. Ephraim and Finney Stolfoots, along with their three children, farm 120 acres and milk 51 Holsteins there. Ephraim began milking here in 2017. The cows are housed in a two-story tie stall barn and all replacement heifers are raised on the farm. Cows and heifers are bull bred. Milk is sold to DFA's southeast. Some ground is used for pasture and the rest is in alfalfa and corn for silage. There is also five acres of tobacco grown. And our first place winner for District 9 is Zimmerman Dairy of Christian County. Zimmerman Dairy began milking cows in 2001. Owners Aaron Zimmerman and wife Elva, along with their six children, milk 60 Holsteins north of Pembroke, Kentucky. Cows are milked in a 46 stall, tie stall barn and are fed corn silage based TMR. Five star feeds do the nutrition work. Zimmerman's herd is bred AI and they market their milk through NFO. The family also raises and markets watermelons. And now for District 10. In second place, we have Kitely Core and Jeff Core of Mercer County. Jeff and Altima Core, along with their children, are the owners and operators of Kitely and Core Jerseys. Kitely Core Jerseys is home to 90 milking cows with a rolling herd average of 19,000 pounds of milk, which several have achieved Jersey Hall of Fame records. The family prides themselves on breeding show quality jerseys, which also lead a long productive life. Jeff and Altime and their son Brady are always looking to learn more about the new farming practices to be more sustainable and to continue to improve the genetics and production of their herd. And our first place winner is Fairdale Farms, Richard Sparrow of Owen County. Fairdale Farms, LLC, is owned by Richard and his wife, Ronell. They have three sons, Joe, Ben, and Kirby, and reside in Owenton, Kentucky. Richard and his sons operate Fairdale Farms, LLC, milking 45 to 50 registered Brown Swiss. The current location of Fairdale Farms was established in 2012. Cows are housed in a compost bedded packed barn and milked in a double four parlor. Our District 11, in third place, is Jones Dairy, 
Timmy and Kim Jones of Marion County. Timmy and Kim Jones manage the farm together with their daughter Brittany. Their daughter Leanne helps when she is home from college. The farm is around 480 acres, raising corn, soybeans, and hay. They have around 290 registered and grade Holsteins and milking around 100. Timmy uses AI on the cows the first time and has a cleanup bull. They have several show cows and heifers that their girls show at county and state shows. Timmy is the president of the Marion County Farm Bureau, and Kim is the vice president of ADA of Kentucky. They volunteer a lot in their community. In second place, David Jerome Mattingly of Marion County. David Mattingly Dairy Farm is located in Marion County between Lebanon and Springfield. David's cows are pastured and freestyle kept. David's cows are milked two times a day. His rolling herd average is 23,309 with 829 pounds of fat and 718 protein. He milks around 80 cows. David sells his milk to DFA Mideast. And our first place winner is Riney Dairy LLC of Washington County. In 1978, Billy Riney Jr. purchased a 28 cow dairy farm in Springfield, Kentucky. His only experience in the dairy business was working on the Manly Dairy Farm while studying agriculture at the University of Kentucky. 43 years later, he is one of the few dairymen still operating in this area. Riney Dairy continues to grow and is currently milking 450 cows in a double 12 parallel rapid exit parlor. They are housed in three free stall barns and one compost bedded packed barn. Fortunately for Billy, his younger son, John, joined him after graduating from the University of Kentucky in 2018. In addition to milking cows, there are 50 dry cows housed in a recently built dry cow facility that is a compost bedded pack with temperature controlled cooling system. All replacements are raised on the farm as well, with a newly renovated calf barn in the winter of 2019. Billy and John are able to raise most of their feed on 650 acres of crop ground and 850 acres of pasture hay ground. Planning for the future, they want to focus on making high quality feed and continue to improve the genetics of the herd. Our District 12 winners in third place are Jonathan Koblentz of Todd County. Jonathan Koblentz and wife Sharon have five children and dairy on Dr. Boyles Road, north of Guthrie. There they milk 85 Holsteins and raise 58 replacement heifers and calves. Cows are housed in a compost bedded pack barn and milked in a double six herringbone parlor. The herd is AI bred and milk is sold to DFA Southeast. Milk cows are fed a TMR of corn silage, dry hay and supplements. The dairy was originally started in 1981 by Jonathan's parents, Aiden and Rhoda Koblenz. They sold out a few years ago and Jonathan started milking there in 2019. The farm consists of 327 acres. In second place is Sam Koblenz, also of Todd County. Sam Koblenz Dairy is located a few miles north of Guthrie, Kentucky in Todd County. There, Sam, son Glenn, and daughters Martha and Suet milk 90 Holsteins. Sam, always being an innovator and exploring better methods of management, took a trip to Virginia around 2006. There he visited a dairy housing cows in a compost bedded pack barn. After some further research in 2007, Sam built the first compost bedded pack barn in the area. Heifers weaned to 12 months were raised in multi-pin heifer barns, then put on the pasture. Springers were separated to another pasture until fresh. Sam said he had used the same veterinarian and nutritionist for the 30 years he milked and was very satisfied with both. There are 700 acres of crop ground and pasture with the farm. Corn silage was cut from 35 acres and sorghum was chopped from 10 acres. Other than that, western alfalfa and corn gluten were fed to the milking herd in a TMR. The remainder of the 700 acres had 50 acres of pasture and the rest in corn, wheat, and soybean rotation. Sam commented that he really enjoyed and gained helpful knowledge from the KDDC tours and meetings. Sam also said he enjoyed so much the friendships he had with the UK students that were frequently doing research projects on the dairy. Dr. Jeffrey Bewley told Sam they did more research projects on that dairy than anywhere else in the state. Sam said he benefited from them all. Sam sold the dairy herd in October of 2021, but intends to stay in contact with all of his dairy friends. And our District 12 first place winner is Carnegie Dairy of Todd County. Carnegie Dairy is owned by Marvin and wife Margaret along with the sons Alvin and Nathaniel. The dairy was started in 1968 by the late Ben Carnegie, Marvin's dad, after moving to Kentucky from Virginia. 
the 130 Holsteins are milked in the double six herringbone parlor and housed in a compost bedded pack barn. Replacements are raised on the farm and animals are AI bred. The milk is marketed to DFA Southeast. Canagies have 600 acres of which 250 are wheat and beans and 150 is corn for silage and grain. They also have a 2700 hog finishing operation and do custom slaughtering and butchering of around 25 to 30 hogs and beef each month. Now it's time for the Gary Lane Production Award for 2021. So what does it mean to have the honor for the Gary Lane Production Award? After the top three herds are recognized in the production award category for each of the 12 districts, the top three overall herds are recognized for third, second, and first placings. It has always been with prestigious honor to receive the top overall herd award in this category. Achieving high production is a strategic effort with nutrition being at the forefront of the successfulness. An icon in the Kentucky's dairy industries, nutrition sector Dr. Gary Lane was instrumental in getting the KDDC established among others who saw the significance of such an organization. Dr. Gary Lane serviced many dairies throughout Kentucky contributing sound nutritional expertise to help increase quality milk production within these herds. It is with this type of legacy that KDDC wishes to continue honoring Dr. Lane going forward with the awarding of the Gary Lane Production Award to the top overall herd in the state. This award exemplifies what Gary stood for, excellence in achieving that one goal of producing high production of quality milk from their herd. In third place for the Gary Lane Production Award is Sumner Dairy of Warren County with an RHA milk of 29,785 pounds, fat at 1,079 pounds, and protein at 866 pounds. In second place is H&S Dairy of Butler County with an RHA milk of 30,851 pounds, fat 1,104 pounds, and protein 896 pounds. And the 2021 overall winner for the Gary Lane Production Award is Fairdale Farms LLC Richard Sparrow and Family of Owen County. They have an RHA milk of 33,150 pounds, fat at 1,237 pounds, and protein, and protein at 1,028 pounds. Fairdale Farms LLC is a family partnership located in Owensboro, Kentucky of the Sparrow family, comprised of Richard, Rennell, Kirby, Ben, Callie, Hallie, Joe, Angela, Archie, and Willie. Richard purchased his first brown Swiss calf in 1962 and later in his youth sold grade B milk to a local craft food plant. Over the years, the cows were housed at several gracious hosts until the decision was made in 2012 to build the current home to Fairdale. A compost bedded pack barn with double four swing parlor is home to 45 to 50 registered brown Swiss. The herd has an RHA of 33,150 pounds of milk with 1,237 pounds of fat. The sparrows have excelled in achieving the goal of producing high production of quality milk from their herd, a true representation of the Gary Lane Production Award. The quality of milk production, the quality of production spills over into the show ring as that's one of the main passions of the sparrows. Home to at least eight grand champions of the Kentucky State Fair, they have also owned the Supreme Champion of the North America International Livestock Exposition, Intermediate Championship at the World Dairy Expo, and recently named Premier Exhibitor at the Eastern National. They have also bred or owned over 40 All-American nominations, and last year were proud owners of the National Total Performance winner for the breed. As proud as they are of all that the cows have accomplished, it pales in comparison to the pride in seeing the next generation growing up around cows. Now it's time for the 2021 Dairy Proficiency Award. The Dairy Proficiency Award is given to the dairy that excels on several different levels. The award is based on a formula designed by former UK Extension Professor Dr. Jack McAllister. The criteria for the award incorporates various inputs that reflect successfulness of the operation. The award involves several components that represent a dairy operation dedicated to quality, production, profitability, and sustainability. These areas are rolling herd average milk, average days to first service, percent possible bread after voluntary waiting period, average days open, percent of cows with sire ID, average somatic cell count, percent of cows with average somatic cell count, linear score zero to three, 
Average service sire, PTA dollars. Average sire, net merit dollar. And net merit, average days dry. Percent of dry periods, less than 40 days. Percent of dry periods greater than 70 days, calving intervals. And the 2021 Dairy Proficiency Award winner is H and H Dairy of Adair County. David and Billy, his dad, began milking in 1988. Billy passed away in 2001. They began with 50 cows with 50 to 55 pounds per cow production. The cows were pasture-based. Matt Sabo, David's nephew, began helping on the farm after graduating from high school in 2009 and has been an integral part in the advancement of the dairy. There have been many changes made over the years. One of the bigger changes was to build a free stall with water mattresses to house the cows. The cows are in total confinement and are milked three times per day. There are also rubber mats in all the alleyways for the cows to walk on. David has always bred AI, which has helped in making improvements in production per cow. All cows have electronic monitors to record their activity and milk daily. They raise their own heifers and sell some along, and they raise their own bulls to sell. The cows are provided a total mixed ration. They grow their own silage that the ration is built around. And now for the 2021 Kentucky Milk Quality Producer Awards. Producing quality milk consistently is never an easy task, but one that requires diligence and details and being consistent in practicing high management practices, and even then it can be challenging. Kentucky dairy producers take pride in producing quality milk for consumers each day. The purpose of the Kentucky Quality Dairy Producer Award is to recognize the producer who best exemplifies quality milk production in Kentucky. The contest is open to all Kentucky dairy producers. Applications are based on a year's criteria of SCC and bacteria count. Our second place winner for Kentucky Milk Quality Producer Award goes to Wayne H. Martin of Todd County with a score of 98.58. And the 2021 Kentucky Quality Dairy producer winner is Adam and Angela Ping of Pulaski County with a score of 85.50. Adam Ping always wanted to be a dairy farmer. He would sneak from home at a young age to help his uncle milk the cows. Later in high school, he was a hired milk hand for two dairy farmers. Ping Dairy was started in 2001. Adam milks around 65 Holstein cows. He focuses on AI breeding most of the cows to ensure quality in his herd and raising high quality feed. He raises his own replacement heifers. The dairy was upgraded in 2012 with a sand bedded free stall. Along with tending to all dairy responsibilities, he raises corn, soybeans, and hay. Adam is married to Angela, and they have two daughters, Haley and Brooklyn. Angela is an elementary education teacher and helps with milking and raising calves. The children share in helping by milking and feeding calves. Adam was nominated by his DFA field representative, David Moore, who said, Adam and his family operate a true family farm in Pulaski County. Adam and his wife and brother do all the milking and have maintained awesome quality for years. They consistently produce some of the highest quality milk in the state of Kentucky year after year. His numbers are good enough to be nominated for National Mastitis Council's Annual Top Quality Award for the best quality milk in the entire United States. Adam's hard work and attention to detail are second to none. Now it's time for the 2021 Kentucky Quality Milk Holler Award. The purpose of the Kentucky Quality Milk Holler Award is to recognize the Kentucky milk holler who best signifies quality hauling procedures and who is recognized as an exponential representative of Kentucky's dairy industry. And the winner for the 2021 Kentucky Milk Quality Holler Award is Mark Latham of Somerset. Mark hauls for Frederick Mayfield and has been hauling milk for three years. Mark was nominated by DFA field representative David Moore. David has these words to say. Mark portrays a positive image every day that he hauls milk. He is always willing to go above and beyond typical milk hauler responsibilities. He is willing to go out of his way and pick up an extra producer to help out a fellow milk hauler. Mark has helped field staff several times to deliver samples to wherever they are needed to help any of his producers. He always does these things with a positive attitude and takes pride in performing his hauling activities. We would like to send out a great thank you to the sponsors of our 2021 Kentucky Dairy Award, the Kentucky Dairy Development Council, Kentucky Agricultural Development Fund, and Kentucky Farm Bureau. We appreciate your participation and support in the recognition of Kentucky Dairy Farm families that work continuously to provide quality, wholesome milk.